Volkswagen, Audi, Nissan, even Honda are using turbochargers to help get more efficiency out of their engines. Gone are those 2 liter or 2.3 liter four cylinders on the base models and in comes a 1.4 liter turbocharged engine. They put out about the same amount of power and the same amount of torque, if not even more. But the one Achilles heels of this engine is the turbocharger and the air coming into it. These turbochargers, well, they're spinning very fast. And when you're spinning very fast, little tiny bits of stuff in the air can damage the blades of the turbine. This is why the air filter has to be up to snuff and it cannot have any issues like no maintenance and becoming clogged. The one thing all of these engines require is clean air that's debris free that gets sucked in through the turbine, through the intercoolers and into the engine at typically anywhere between 12 to 20 PSI. If that air has debris in it, well, you're going to damage the turbine inside of the turbocharger itself. I've got two failure scenarios for you. First of all, let's say the air filter is actually replaced and it's not properly positioned in the housing or air is allowed to bypass around the filter and into the engine. That debris can hit the turbine blades and damage them. Or in some cases, you may have a gasket or a part of a bellows that may find its way into the turbo and it is absolutely going to destroy the blades. To inspect the blades for damage, make sure that you're taking your phone and positioning it over the opening of the turbocharger and taking pictures of the blades. Any nicks, cuts, or damage to the housing, well, that is a sign that it's ingested something it shouldn't have. The other failure scenario, well, it's the one where the customer does not replace the air filter. The air filter becomes clogged and it causes enough of a pressure differential between the outside air and the air behind the air filter that the filter is actually sucked towards the turbocharger. Well, it's a sign that the air is bypassing the clogged filter. In these videos, we focused a lot on oil and turbochargers, but the air going into the turbocharger is just as important. It needs to be filtered and it cannot have any contaminants that could damage the turbine or possibly find their way into the intercooler. Just keep this in mind the next time you're inspecting a vehicle that comes in for service that has a turbocharger. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.